What's going on, guys? I'm Nick. And I'm Sam. Today we're doing a movie review on us. <laughs> oh, whoa, what did you think of the movie? <laughs> you go first? <laughs> I thought the movie was horrible. It was real predictable. It was. I don't know. It was real predictable. It was. I don't know. It, Bunch of bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> What do bunch of bunnies? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta eat somehow. I don't know. The actor was pretty good, all right? The actor was good. I don't know. The actor was okay, but not really. Too though. many bunnies? <laughs> <laughs> no, the actor it was okay. They kind of the the dad on there acted like uh, <laughs> what's his name? Who's that? Um, A wuss. The um, what's his name? Who made the movie? Uh, the guy from Key and Peele. Yeah. He acted like the guy from Key and Peele, apparently. I don't know. Like, there was this part where he lets her get out of the car and she's like, she's going to take care of it. And that, that was kind of a wuss move. The dad was a wuss. He was hurt. He was hurt. Oh, bull crap. I had a broken leg and my wife was in the car. I'd be like, I'll get out and I'll hop over there and I'll kill that clone. Heck no, I'll put the Sport. car and drive. I'll, tell I'll, be about, I'll be right back around, baby, and I'll take off. Spoilers. Baby, I'll be back. Hey, did we say spoilers? Spoiler would be in the review. Okay, spoilers are... This is the review, so spoilers. Spoilers in this review. Yeah, it was, it was so predictable. Dad was a wuss. Um, other than that, like, I mean, everything was... Like, if you watch the movie... It was easy to kill. They, they wasn't like they were superhuman. Which I'm still curious on why they were so hard to kill, though. They wasn't hard. They was, you, did you guys just hear me? They was easy to kill. They was harder than humans, though. They you seemed like what? they were... Okay, hit a human in the head and see what happens. They'll die. Now hit a clone in the head and it's gonna die. Well, they'll wake back up in about 30 minutes and they're done napping and they'll get up and they'll try to chase One it. got up because it fell on a table and broke its fall. <laughs> <laughs> These are our movies suck. The movie sucked, right? Am I wrong about the movie nah, sucked? The movie sucked. I fell asleep in the theater. Yeah. <laughs> I do the same. I'm not lying. I'm. I dozed, I kind of was like on and off about the first 45, 50 minutes. Uh -huh. The movie really didn't make sense either. I was all confused. No, the movie made perfect sense. She was a clone. I mean, I knew that the second. When the movie started, and it was like, she wanders out. I'm like, okay, well, they switched people. You know, she wasn't really her. So, yeah. That, that was, that was hey, completely predictable. You're right on that. You're it, was, right it, on it was predictable, right? I don't know. I, yeah. No, Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, so the movie, it didn't make sense. It made perfect sense. Well, okay, what was the whole thing of it? What was the whole movie since you know all the sense in the world? <laughs> Come on, six cents. <laughs> well, no. The movie was predictable. On well, tell me how. Well, it was easy Girl, to know. Girl, I was downstairs. <laughs> it was, okay. <laughs> it was easy to know the girl switched places with the other girl. It yeah, was, that, that was easy to know. That was easy to know. That's yeah. what I'm saying was predictable. Okay. That was easy. So the movie was didn't make sense. The reason they thought she was The movie ready. didn't make sense because if a clone, uh, if they're on, I guess, the boardwalk or whatever it was on, and they're moving up there, they're moving downstairs. So how did it switch when they switch bodies? Did mean? that make sense? When she went upstairs mm -hmm. and the girl went downstairs, then she was doing everything the girl was doing upstairs. They all was doing everything the one was doing But upstairs. how did that switch? It didn't. It wasn't exactly the what? same. It went exactly now I'm confused again. Why they are? What are you confused about? Why did it switch? If only the clone follows what the other person does, the real person does. How did it switch when she went downstairs? Okay, well there you go. That's a good valid point. Wait, you just made a good valid point. But maybe, just maybe, it because did. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna have to watch and see that. <laughs> no, maybe because the parents and everything influenced the clone to do what she had to do. And underneath, the parents did the exact same thing. So maybe it somehow developed as they started following the other way around. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you're stupid. Then. No, I'm just, that doesn't make sense again. That makes perfect sense. Wait, say it again? Because I wasn't listening. Because the parents up, upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Are you screwing with me? I just wasn't listening. I just don't pay attention to Okay, much. so the parents upstairs were with the clone now, right? Yeah. So they were telling her to go to school. Go to the athlete? Her dad never left. They didn't explain that. Did her dad leave? 
When he left and he looked at her for a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't explain if her dad left. They didn't explain what hour it was that she went down. They didn't explain the minute. These are the things we got to ask questions about. You're right. These are the things we need to ask. <laughs> either way, either way. But whenever her mother or her father and her mother or her just her father, whoever left who, or if they were both together, you know, did what they did. Maybe they influenced the people down underneath, the clones. It could have been whoever the real girl was, you know what I mean? The, the girl girl, to do exactly what they wanted her to do. Because she was just a kid whenever they switched out bodies, so she was just doing what the yeah. parent told her to do. Uh-huh, they didn't talk, so how'd they tell her what to do? They grabbed her. <laughs> Were they yelling in her face? <laughs> they grabbed her right hand. They took her where she went. <laughs> I don't... When you was 10 years old. What Somebody got in my face. <laughs> I would have think, dang, nobody talks down here. Or would you have, you know, left or would you have just... I would have left because she woke up chained to a bed. So she knew she wasn't supposed to be down there. Why didn't she just leave? You're right. That's a that's a good question. So the movie was confusing. The movie was only confusing to you. Like, I mean, if you... That's a good question. Why? Well, it's just confusing to you now. <laughs> I guess he knows all the answers then. Well, maybe she should. <laughs> maybe she believed that was her real parents. Maybe she believed the people she, around her was the real people around her. Maybe, you they, know. Okay, we could say that. Parents stopped talking, apparently, and they all lived in a basement with a bunch of other people. She went to talking. a cave while they went on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> she oh. went to a cave while they went on vacation. That's what happened. And then, somehow, she bought a bunch of jumpsuits. <laughs> I don't know where she went. Where did they get them jumpsuits from? That, that's another thing. Scissors? Where did they get the scissors? Did, the they, did they get handed the Michael scissors? Michael Jackson's one glove? One glove. Did they know how to knit and make, you know, gloves? Well, okay. If the surface people was knitting up there, there you, you know, go. them people down there, there figured it out. There you go. Because they was all doing it upstairs and they was just a complete copy, not consciousness, but a copy. Yeah. yeah. So how'd that copy switch? Because the one downstairs had a conscience. Yeah, but when she would change her bed, oh. when she would change her bed, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> long enough, she just did exactly what she was told to do. She killed like herself. the one, <laughs> like the one upstairs did exactly what she was told to do. She did exactly what she was told to do, and that's I a simple. Just don't one. talk too much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She, they did exactly what they were told to do because they was ten years old, nine years old, twelve, I think. Twelve years old. Either way, they did exactly what they were told to do by the parents if they spoke. Or if they didn't speak. You no, know? see how she understood her parents then. She, <laughs> I was, I was saying, oh no, oh no. No, oh, no. you didn't even parent. Because nobody know. just talk. Okay, well. So I'm not going to talk. We're, I'm just going to talk we're not about done. halfway through it then. I, I don't have to talk. I'm just going to talk with, like, I'm losing breath half of the time. <laughs>